everybody, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I think we're up to like episode four of Vlogmas. If you've missed any, I am uploading two videos a week right now. Tuesdays and Thursdays for this month. So hopefully you're enjoying the Vlogmas videos. The other day I was looking through really old videos. I saw an outfit that I wore. It inspired me to want to wear it again. It kind of consisted primarily of a little dress and my burgundy Jean Vito Rossi boots, which I bought last season, if you remember, and I wore them so much. And so over this, I'm going to put my big Max Mara coat. I'll go get that in a second. But this was pretty much the outfit that I was wearing in like a TikTok that I put together. And I was like, oh, what a cute, easy little outfit that is. And so I've literally just put on the burgundy boots, a pair of Calcedonia tights, just really simple black tights, just to kind of um, get that bit in the middle so I'm not freezing. But this is a really sweet little lily silk number. I think my code for Lily Silk is probably still working so I think it's just fro, F-R-O-W and that'll get you 15% off. But yeah this is just like a little black dress but what I like about it is slightly elongated sleeves and the shoulders are stitched in so it gives that structure where it comes it's that very feminine shape and structure and I love the longer little sleeves and the way it just fits so nicely it's like ribbed really gorgeous quality and it just looks so sweet and feminine it looks like a lot more expensive than it is. So that's the idea for today. Let me go get my coat. So I've been wearing my new black coat most of the time, to be honest, because I'm absolutely obsessed with that black coat. But this was my coat of choice last season and it's still amazing. I mean, I say last season, obviously they still sell this. It's not a last season coat, it's a current season coat. This is what I kind of wore all last winter. So I thought I'd wear this today. It's so beautiful. My Max Muller coat, it's a little bit creasy. I wonder if I have a go at steaming this whilst I've got a little minute. I might quickly steam it and then I'm just gonna wear it a bit more cinched and belt it in like that. And then I need my Birkin today because I've got lots of makeup in here. I've got my tripod and everything like that. Because today is a very nice day for me. Like you, like you can see, I've got very lightweight makeup on. I am going for a facial. I'm going along to the Clay de Peau Spa inside of Harrods for a Clay de Peau facial. So this video is going to be in partnership with Clay de Peau. I'm really excited to bring you along just to give you a really good insight into where the spa is and what you can expect because I know a lot of you have become big fans of Clay de Peau. A number of you, because you've seen me talking about Clay de Peau, you've invested and now you are as obsessed as I am. And so if you are in London, and you want to treat yourself or a loved one to a little spa experience, yeah, I'm going to bring you along with me today. And that is kind of the first thing on my radar today, which means I have a few things after that, and including I'm hopefully going to go and see Susie again for another bridal appointment. I'm going to try my absolute damned hardest to get there for her because I've got a really busy day, and she asked me and said, can you make it? And I was like, oh, I will try and fit it in between this and this. So let's see, I'm going to try. So that's the reason I've got the Birkin, because I have got a big load of makeup. Well, in fact, no, it's not big. I have a small bag of makeup with me just to touch up. But then I need my tripod and all of that so I can actually film it for you guys. So I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like I'm having so many amazing facials recently and I feel like that's why my skin is so, so great. However, I do have two little spots going on right now and I know exactly what that's from. It's uh, from over excessive um, cheese consumption. Many is the night I dream of cheese. And also I did miss a pill last month and that always messes with me. If I miss one, accidentally miss one, my skin goes, ooh, big mistake. So actually it'd be quite nice to get that all cleaned out. So, right, let's head into London then for the day and I'll, I'll see you there. It's a perfect place to go, so I've just got a few things to do today. I've got like back to back things to tick off my list, and this is the first thing on my agenda. Oh, pretty! Okay, that was literally in and out of the store. I love a good efficient moment. Now to YSL, which is literally 100 steps away. I'm just using my gift. So these are my choices. This is really sweet. 
then I'm loving this. I think that Jade would like this. I can show this by the way, because she will have got this present by the time. <laughs> but I also really like this ring. I'm a little bit obsessed with this. It is so cute. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Here we go, Harrods. Now I've got this big bag with me, but at least I've got my trousers back. I'm gonna go in this door because I've got a feeling this might be closest. Cute. Thank you. Okay, so I'm on lower ground. Need to get to the beauty area. I think it's this. I just need to get to the spa area. I'm sure it's down here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, this is where I did my clay de peau meeting in here last year. I think it's around here. I'm just in the little waiting area, waiting for my appointment. This is very festive indeed. I just had the nicest cab driver, like the funniest cab driver. So not only was I already in a good mood, I'm in an even more better mood now. I'm um, very excited about this. And it's just nice, I've got very minimal makeup on. I can just quickly take that off and get straight into my, into my facial. So it's gonna be a really special facial today. It's with um, the Synaptive range from Clay Depo. So it's a super duper special range. I mean, it's all very, very special, but this is a super premium uh, line of skincare. So I'm excited to try it. I haven't tried this particular facial before. So I'll, I'll try and film as much as I can. I'll, I won't be falling asleep during this, sadly. I wish I could. Yeah, I'll be able to talk, talk you through the whole process. But yeah, this is where I'm sat. I'm just sat here um, in a little waiting area, which is rather gorgeous. I'm a little bit early, you see. I've got to get here a little bit early, which is good for me. When am I early? <laughs> oh, it's so cozy in here. Oh, it's so nice. A little seating area for me. And the treatment room, it's just like this little cave of quietness and solitude and wonderfulness. Okay guys, I am ready for my synaptive facial. Talk me through the facial. This yes. is all about rejuvenation, purifying. Exactly, yes, and also brightening. And we're gonna use microcurrents, didn't you say? Yeah. Just to kind of tighten and lift and sculpt, yeah. all about sculpting. And also very hydrate. So sculpting, hydrating, Skin purifying. Power. 70 minutes, wow! <laughs> oh gosh, what a treat this is! <laughs> Okay, so we're starting with the first mask, and that's a brightening facial mask, did you say? Yes. So now my skin has been cleansed and cleaned, and there's an incredible spray moment. That was great, like a spray that was sprayed over my face, um, all over, really kind of relaxing. Mm -hmm. That must have been, I'm guessing it was to soak the skin, so I'll, almost so the impurities come to the, the surface. sauna, face sauna, Ooh. and of course the hydration as well. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna... No, it's not too hot now, but it's nice and warming. Mm. So what does this one do? So this is the cream, Synactive the cream. So this is our most luxury night cream. Mm -hmm. This is 10 times more than one use. So this is very luxury, like creamy and hydrate and chasing. It feels cream. lovely. Yes. So now a sheet mask over top. This is just so amazing. I would be fast asleep now if I didn't have to film. <laughs> yeah, I sure like it. It's so relaxing I in know. here. It's because it's so dark, it's like a little cocoon. Yeah, it is. Especially like Harrods is very busy and bright, but here mm. it's just so yeah. like a den. It <laughs> is, it is like a little cozy den, isn't yeah. it? Wow, <laughs> you can see how juicy it's looking. Yeah. Wow. So last facial mask, another oh. mask as well. Third mask, wow. This is so special.
Yeah, your skin is like、uh, my son's skin, five years old, or、oh. like even younger, maybe baby skin now. Oh my now. gosh, that's such a compliment. Thank you. I mean, look at it now. Wow. So, this is a test result. Oh, well, so straight after I should have 160% more、yes. water in the skin. Yes, and, and then two days. Two days later, still, still 114% improvement. Gosh, that's incredible. And skin, even skin tone is two days' time. Oh, it only gets better. better. 235% percent better texture、yeah. after the treatment. Yes. Wow, gosh, that's incredible. Yeah, it is. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it, fe- it feels on, but wow. Yeah, your skin is like, your skin was beautiful. <gasps> It's like butter. But、oh、after the treatment, just. Thank so, you. Like a baby. You have the most gentle hands. <laughs> so, Haruka was just telling me she is the only person in the UK that can perform this particular treatment. That is so exclusive. And she has the most delicate, gentle hands. Ever. She will take very good care of you. <laughs> and didn't you say it's already available in Japan and that's where it's become super well、yes. known and famous? Exactly. And then it's only been here in Harrods since October. Yes. So it's super exclusive. It is like brand new treatment to the UK and only Haruka can do it. So you'll have the most amazing time, guys, if you book in. It looks absolutely divine, doesn't it? So we used to lotion. I mean, that's. Oh, look at the bottle design. It's so gorgeous. So, lotion. And the、uh, eye cream. Oh, is that the、and、eye the, cream? Yes. Again, what a lovely bottle. So, that's the eye cream. And then we use the cream. Do you remember the cream mask? Yes. This one. That was this one? Yeah. And then、oh. actually, I put, applied 10 times more than one usage. Wow. This is a really perfume amazing. as well. Oh, is that the perfume that you spritz?、Yes. Oh, that was so gorgeous. So, someone can buy this and then try everything、yes. out for themselves. Yes. Yeah, purification and regeneration. That's what this range is all about, isn't、yeah. it? Targets the natural skin processes of purification and regeneration, empowering skin for a 360 purely radiant sculpted beauty. Well, I f- certainly feel very radiant now. I just quickly come along to the bathrooms because I just need to put a little bit of makeup on for the rest of the day. Just like literally a bit of a brow, mascara. Maybe a tiny bit of concealer. I don't really want to put anything on my skin because it really does look supreme right now. And I hate to overload it with anything else. And、um, this spot is getting a little angrier, like I said yesterday. But otherwise, and I can see from this vein, look at those veins. That's a,、um, a headache coming on, I think. I'm not going to have time to go see Susie, sadly. There's no way I'll get over to the bridal salon and then get back to Claridge's. In time for my next meeting, which makes me really sad because I really wanted to go along to the bridal,、um, go along to a bridal appointment, but I'm sure she'll understand. So I might actually just go get a little coffee because I'm desperate for a coffee right now. And something to eat and then、uh, head along to my next meeting. Okay, last stop of the day, I'm on my way to Claridge's for two different meetings. Had a wonderful facial, quickly gone and got a drink, that was early, and now I'm on my way to Claridge's. <laughs> Clarity's Christmas tree is looking so cool. This is the Louis Vuitton Christmas tree. How incredible is this? What the hell happened in this room? What happened? I need to put on a light first of all. It's going to be so low lit there. One sec. Let there be light. Oh my goodness me. What an absolute mess. My skin today, guys, looks absolutely heavenly. Why is that? That is so annoying, this lamp. This light has just started getting flickery for no reason. It's driving me a little bit insane. I've been working all day on the vlogs. <laughs> Because it's Vlogmas, I obviously i m working over. Three different vlogs right now because we're working about a week or so ahead. So I've just been having to go through all of the different pieces of footage that we've got in a, over a few different vlogs and work all of that out and get everything up to date. So that's what I've been doing all day because it's taken me some real time to get there. I just want to get back to being a little more spruced up. c l e a r to put a lip liner and I'll put on some of. Where is it? Do I want to go red? No, let's not. Be all over my face before the end of the day. <laughs> let's do、um, a bit of my fave 111. Just go nude. And then this beautiful gloss. 
over the top. That's um, 302. What I was just saying then is, well, boys, how are you? Good. Well, well, come here, Daddy. Well, well, come here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just caught Bo being an absolute rascal. I was like shouting to him and I was like, Bo, Bo, because I knew I could hear him. And then I was about to close the door and come back in and leave him, thinking, oh, he's probably downstairs. And then I heard this like rustling. And I was like, wait, can you hear rustling? Where's that? His little heart's going, bless him. Heard this rustling, went along, found him in the other room. And he'd managed to get a hold of Alex's Starbucks wrapper where he'd had a cinnamon bun. And he's obviously managed to get it off of the poof and started licking all of the insides of this, this little bag, haven't you? And it looks, it kind of feels as though you're a bit sugary, so I bet he's had his whole head inside of this packet. So as soon as I came in and looked, he literally got straight on his back like, I'm sorry. And now his little heart's going, because obviously he's a bit worried that I'd be, he's obviously a bit worried that I'd be upset, but I'm not, I'm actually just more laughing at him because he's hilarious. <laughs> You're so mischievous. You are a mischievous little thing. Oh God, how could you ever be mad at this beautiful face? Episode one of Vlogmas. I was watching it back again yesterday and um, sorry, that was extreme bow content. There's a lot of bow content in there, but I actually think you guys have loved it. Look at him now rubbing his face on the floor all happy with himself because he's had a piece of Cinnabon. Naughty little rascal, I'll tell you that. Right, <laughs> okay, let's get clean. It was six minutes in, I'm not even clean anything yet. I'm already, I have a few things to show you though. Sorry, I'm extremely casual today. My hair is going to annoy me, but very casual day ahead. Right, two things, two really exciting parcels, Christmas goodies to show you. First, the first bag that I was gonna put away. So as you saw yesterday, I went to the YSL store. I bought Jade a gift. I bought her the Saint necklace, the gorgeous gold long Saint necklace. I just thought it felt quite her. It's, it was a beautiful piece. Nothing else was really singing to me, whereas that I just feel is so easy to wear. It's not super brand heavy. Um, and I think she'll really like it. So that's what we've got for Jade for a birthday party. She's having a studio 54 birthday party. And so I'll show you in a sec. I've bought things from ASOS. I've not been to ASOS in years and years, but this is more of a fancy dress kind of themed birthday party. I needed something that would work for a Studio 54 kind of 70s disco birthday. So I've got a couple of things to show you, one of which is that incredible silver piece. I'll show you that in a sec. So that's our birthday present. Alex is currently working out what he's going to wear. You'll see all of this on the weekend when we go up to Cheltenham for the birthday party at Jade and Julian's spectacular home. So I'm really excited to be invited again. Next up, though, I met yesterday with my wonderful Bulgari team. As you know, I've been an ambassador for Bulgari for a number of years. It was so nice to see the team yesterday and they brought the most incredible gift for me. I am, I, I could have cried in the middle of Claridge's, to be honest. I'm truly so honored to be given something of this sort of caliber of pack. I can't believe it, look at this. Look at this absolutely heavenly piece. Um, I haven't yet taken off this. It's got a black strap underneath. I wanna do an unboxing TikTok. It's all about making content these days, isn't it? And moving content around different channels. So I wanna do a TikTok. So I'm not taking that off yet. However, but look, it's full crystals all over in a mixture of black and also these sort of goldy tones, which is why it sparkles in this way. Then the serpenty head on the front is just crystallized in these black onyx gems. I, I can't quite put into words how beautiful it is. I, I think this might be my most beautiful Bulgari bag and that's saying a lot. Um, as you know, I'm a big collector of Bulgari bags. I adore every single one that I have. Yeah, and then here we have the chain strap as well that goes with it. I just can't quite believe it. It's truly exceptional. It's one of the most beautiful bags I've ever seen from Bulgari and I can't quite believe this is mine. Ugh. Speechless, absolutely speechless. I'm so, so grateful. These moments do not pass me by, that is for sure. I can't quite believe these sort of opportunities come my way and I'm so, so thankful to Bulgari and the whole team for being so wonderful to me. 
so thank you thank you so much to Borgery. um okay then okay next thing um i came home yesterday to find this beautiful bag in my home from the Louis Vuitton team who again i absolutely adore <laughs> this is their outfit the calendar I mean, how gorgeous is the bag so stunning this is their outfit calendar this year they sent me one last year too and it wowed me then so Ooh. does it come out does it come out is it meant to come out the box maybe it's meant to come out the box okay i think this comes out the box okay then maybe this just slides out actually maybe it's just a sleeve Ooh oh yeah this is very similar to last year it is a trunk shape and it opens out this way Oh, it's gorgeous. Uh, last year, it was filled with wooden. Are you okay? Are you bored? <laughs> Poor baby. Last year, it was filled with all wooden ornaments and they're all really, really beautiful. So I will show you this. When are you gonna be seeing this though? You're going to be watching this video on, keep it on top of this, it's quite confusing. You'll see this on the 7th. So I'll be seven doors in then. In which case then, uh, shall I open one just so we can see it together? One. Oh wow, it's one of these, okay. So cool, not only do they give you ornaments, you create them yourself. And it comes with a little Louis Vuitton pin as well, so you can pull this back together and then clasp it in place. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to open that actually, that'll be really good fun opening that. I will also have this probably displayed down in the living room, pride of place. And um, so thank you so much to Louis Vuitton team, absolutely beautiful. We're pleased to donate 70 US dollars on your behalf for UNICEF partnership to help vulnerable children and their families. That's wonderful, how gorgeous. Probably extra. Let's try on some birthday Studio 54 inspired disco dresses. These dresses could also work for sure for um, Christmas. Let's try these on together and see what we think. So the first one is the one that I'm hoping really works. Like I said, it's from ASOS and it was like half price, but it consists of very, very large square sequins. So I thought it would be kind of gorgeous for this party. So let's give this a whirl. Wow, I love it. Absolutely love it. It, it fits like a gem. This is really great. I'm gonna put it with my Mac and Max with the straps. Oh gosh, these are tight, Jesus. I'm gonna put it with the Mac and Max. I've got full sparkly sequins. I actually have a lot of really great silver shoes somehow. I have these too, that are Jean Vito Rossi that have this really great like gemstone over top, which actually do scream disco, don't they? Maybe these are even better. Oh, do you know what? I might actually go for the Jean Vitos. I think they, with the colorful gems, I think that's kind of a nice little pop. Yeah, do you know what? I don't even know if I need to try anything else because I think this is perfect. Just screams fun. Studio 54, but equally it's something that I would be so happy wearing. Like, I don't like fancy dress. I don't go out enough that I'd wanna go out dressed up as someone I'm not. So this is kind of a hybrid of something I actually would like to wear and also get in the spirit. Plus, when, when we're all like discoing, look at me! Okay, right, anyway, that's option one. Let's at least give option two and option three a good go and actually you might like some of the bits but when was the last time I did an ASOS haul guys? <laughs> I figured it's about time then I did another ASOS haul quite a while ago I know it's not quite my thing anymore but this is exciting right let's have a look in fact let me take a picture first for Rebecca they would put yay love great okay perfect so she loves that right let's just try outfit two totally totally different vibe this is a, a jumpsuit, ooh, pockets. Feathery style jumpsuit. Do you know what, I do actually like it. I do actually like it and I think it would work for like Studio 54. It feels like something that maybe Diana Ross would have worn, potentially, especially given like the feathers. It fits actually really lovely, like this band around the waist. I love the way it fits over the boobs. Like it's really lovely over the chest. But do I love it more than the sequin? No. 
sequin has my heart right now. So as nice as it is, it's really nice. Just the sequin is just too good. Right, let's try, try option three. Third and final option, and not the one I'll be going for. Again, the, the other sequin is just so nice. Um, this is a rose gold sequin two-piece. It actually fits really nice, but and it's quite cute. And I could, could probably just about pull it off with some sparkly shoes, but yeah, it's not it's not the silver one, is it? The silver one was like whew, amazing. Okay, that's it then. Three cool outfits, but the silver silver was the winner, I think there guys. Yay! God, it's so cold in this room, I can't describe I need to put my I need to put my socks on. Right, next thing on the list to do today, I have started selling some things on Vinted and primarily my designer pieces. However, I'm going to say this now for any of you guys because I know that I've got, I know a lot of you follow me from the USA. Vinted is only for England. I didn't realise that. Well, not England, but you can only sell to people in your own country on Vinted. I had no idea actually about that. Um, yeah, so I put lots of things up on Vinted and got so many messages um, from a lot of you guys in the States saying that you couldn't get anything, which makes me so sad. Um, so I'm so sorry guys. Um, I suppose if there's anything you really, really like and you really, really genuinely want, then just DM me. But otherwise, for anyone in the UK, I'm putting some of my coats online. I've got a lot of coats and a number of them I've not even worn like. I've got a big pile down here, but for example, this Gucci North Face jacket that I bought last season because I thought it would be like a sellout and I was like, I'll get it quickly. I just haven't worn it. I haven't worn it because I have a big Fendi puffer coat, which is kind of similar in that kind of big oversized style. So this is an extra small, fits like perfectly everything. Like it still has the tags on it. Still got the Gucci North Face tag because I haven't worn it. It's such a great coat. It's such a great coat. Yeah, I just haven't worn it and was like, right, I'll sell it. But of course, because it completely sold out super quick, it's a limited piece. It ain't gonna be, it's not gonna be cheap. I'm not selling this cheap, just in case anyone thinks I'm going to. Like I'd like to get at least what I paid for it, I'll be honest, because it's, you know, it's designer and it's super limited and it's sold out as soon as it went on <laughs> online. So, but if you're a collector and you're someone who wanted this, then um, let me know. But otherwise, it's gonna be on my vintage. So I'm just gonna set up a little bit of a spot to take some pictures of some things. I was thinking maybe here, but now, now I'm doubting my choices completely. Maybe I could do it there over the, the mirror. I do it like this. All day, right? Okay, now let's have a look at vintage. If you do want to find me, I am ITF Wardrobe on Vinted. The other week, loads of people couldn't find me, which was really aggravating me. But I've got a couple more things up on here now, which is great. So, I've got like Dior shoes on here. Dior t-shirts. I've got a really awesome Dolce & Gabbana leather jacket from a few years back. I just don't really wear, I just don't wear Dolce anymore. So I'm getting rid of that. Yeah, I've got a couple of pairs of Dior heels on here. Versace heels, really cool things on here. So right, sell, upload photos. Up to 20 photos, that's amazing. I've got to turn the camera back on. I've just done the North Face jacket. I've done my Balenciaga black denim jacket. And now I'm onto this Gucci coat, which you mm. might remember. Jealous of me not talking to you, turn to someone else. Yeah, I bought this a number of years ago. Um, might even be five, maybe even six years ago now, but it's in such good condition. The only thing about it is I've got a little bit of makeup around the collar, but that'll come off with a proper wash. Yeah, it's such a cool style. I just don't wear it anymore, and it's because I just have too many other things, and that's, I know it's a ridiculous problem to have, but yeah, I'm actually quite enjoying this, so it's quite therapeutic. All in all my pickies. Photos. Welcome to my lion's mane of a hairdo. This is air wrap. I just air wrapped this using the small barrel. I've literally just packed it. 
Tonight I'm going to Jade Hong Cooper's birthday party as I showed you, that incredible dress. Um, I've literally used the slim barrel. I remember, it's a slimmer barrel. Never usually use this because it creates slightly slimmer curls. But I'm not touching it. I've just sprayed loads of spray on it. I'm going to go like this. And then when we get to the hotel, I'm going to like take each curl and like back comb it out and make massive 70s hair. So I just want to keep this looking mahoosive really for now before we go. So I'm going to try my best to keep it looking like this. And where's my other clip gone? I can't see one clip. Just packing up all my things because I'm going to I'm gonna get ready there I think rather than getting ready now. It might be a little bit too early now. Uh, I'm going to do quite a light makeup now but but nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna take, I've just tanned, so I'm gonna take my favorite. Ooh, do you know what? Maybe I'll take the correcting primer veil from Clay de Po. Then I'm gonna take 020. Just got enough left in there, I think. I'll take 020. I'll take my super light Clay de Po concealer for really brightened under eyes. For this. Let's take quite a bronzy, really bronzy contour with me. Nice blush. Can I go in silver? I'm going to take the new Clay de Po Holiday Collection Luminizer. It's super light and like a bit silvery, icy. I think that'll be awesome. Blusher. What colour am I wearing? And a red lip could be fun. I don't think the red lip was really a 70s thing though, was it? It's more nude. Was it? Or was it 80s? Or 90s? Maybe that was 90s. I don't think I want to wear a red lip, do I? Or maybe I do. Maybe I do. I mean, these are perfect colours. The new holiday collection, Clay de Peau palette. I might, I'm going to take that because I think actually a bit that purpley and gold will be quite fun um, for this and actually quite perfect for this. So I want to take that. Although I could also go more, I could go for like metallic greens. Got this really great Nars metallic green. That's Isla, Isla Morada. Maybe that could go nice with the silver. Okay, cool. Right, I'm gonna pack this up and get going. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Apart from my hair still looks a little bit crazy because obviously I'm waiting until I can brush it out properly. But I don't know if you've seen on my TikTok, but this month I've decided to recreate some of my favorite outfits that went viral a few years ago. So you might not remember, but on Instagram a couple of years ago, I started creating outfit reels like Get Ready With Me's. The loads of them went super viral, got millions of views. It's the reason why I hit a million followers on Instagram because my, my channel grew so much. There were so many viral videos. And so I thought, I got looking back the other day and was like, Do you know, there's so many cool outfits here and I still own so many of the pieces. So I thought I'm gonna start recreating all the outfits. It's quite lazy of me because it means I don't have to think about putting outfits together which I love. So I don't have to think about anything. I can just go back and recreate the whole outfit. And this is one of my favorites. In fact, this was the first one I ever did. This is the one that went viral. And I remember being sat there and being like, Alex, this, this video is getting like crazy amounts of views. And then suddenly it kind of popped off and went like to a million views. And I was like, what is going on? Cause that never ever happened to me ever in my entire career. And it suddenly went viral. Yeah, and it was just a really crazy moment. This was the outfit. Apart from I had black Bottega boots on, not cream. But I've since, I've sold the black ones because they were um, a size too big for me. I got the wrong size, but I kept them. So these are the right size. So I had the cream ones. But otherwise, this is the whole look. Right, anyway, on our way now to Cheltenham. Little drive over to Cheltenham. And then I have something to shoot for Jimmy Choo, but we're gonna we're gonna take some pictures in 131 at Cheltenham, which is Jade's hotel, Jade and Julian's hotel, and it's stunning. So I thought this is a perfect editorial backdrop for the shoot. And then we get ready for the evening. So I actually can't wait. <laughs> now one through one getting ready for the evening but first of all like I said we have a Jimmy Choo shoot that we're currently on with we are shooting on the beautiful Jimmy Choo products so we're just working out a few little spots in the room and I am dolled up in this incredible dress YSL black velvet with black satin 
it's so pretty. I'm okay. You've not seen my hair yet, guys. I have back combed up my hair, so it is enormous now. I might have to do a little bit more actually before we before we leave. It is just so huge. I really love it actually. And then I've got the Jimmy Choo earrings in with this, which look beautiful. Um, and then I'm wearing these stunning gold floral shoes. And then Alex's shoot in the back. Ooh, nice. Um, so this is this is a room we've stayed here before. This is our favourite room at um, 131 Hotel in Cheltenham. It's beautiful with the bathtub, seating area. The bathroom is gorgeous. So yeah, so as soon as I'm done with the shoot, I am just going to do a little more makeup. So I didn't want to go too crazy. 1970 Studio 54 for a Jimmy Choo shoot. But I did want to do like the big party hair. I mean, look how big it is. He looks amazing. So I'm just going to do much more kind of eye makeup, a lot more blush, highlight, bigger lips probably. I might even do a red lip, like I said. I'm going to do all of that, but I needed to keep it kind of a bit more chill <laughs> for the start of this shoot. Having such a fun time though. As soon as we got here, we were greeted with some champagne. We were then in our favourite room. I just feel so, so happy. Cannot wait for tonight's party. We went to Jay's party two years ago. She didn't have one last year, but she had one two years ago. And uh, what was the theme? 1920s. And I went in this really gorgeous, like teal blue metallic dress with feathers to the bottom from Osiré. Loved that look. Alex went in a full suit and looked amazing. And then tonight, Alex has got a metallic blazer to wear. So I'll show you all that in a minute. Ta-da! <laughs> what a winner of a dress. And it was half price, I didn't realise. Isn't it so fab? Huge hair. Pulled out this old Thomas Sabo number. Who remembers this from like four or five years ago when I used to work at Thomas Sabo? Big silver hoops. Any and all silver jewellery that I own, I've realised how sparse my jewellery collection is when it comes to silver. And then I've gone for the Jean Vito's because I feel like the little gemstones over the toes just feel a little bit more disco. I love it, what do you think? I feel so great in this. And then can I show them what you're wearing? Look at this handsome man. I feel like I should be on supermarket suite. <laughs> Dale Winton. <laughs> no, you look great. He definitely does have 80s game show hosts. Yeah, but that's... Vibes about it. But I think it's kind of like, it's the theme meets you and your style. I'm so thrilled with how this came out. I'm so happy with this. 15 minutes. Oh, I've got 15 minutes till until the taxi. We have, we've absolutely won this evening. Um, I've just done my full makeup look. Look at that Clay de Peau highlight. Oh, sensational. Again, I've got the gold gloss from Clay de Peau over the lips. The purple eyeshadow, I've got that on. I've done a whole TikTok on it, so you can see it on there. But I love it. I love the huge hair. Again, I've kind of shown how I did this and made it so big. So yeah, I, I cannot wait. I'll try and get a little bit from the evening. Obviously it's Jade's party and there's a lot of people there who probably don't want to be on camera, but I'll try my best. <laughs> it's chilly. Woofies. It's like minus 10. I feel like the fake snow is making me feel like it's cold. Yeah, I know it does. <laughs> We're on our way out for a firework display. Wavy. I was like, I feel good. And I'm like, I feel shit. <laughs> I feel good. I feel bad. What a night we had though, hey? Mm, it's good fun, wasn't it? Oh goodness me. The last oh, hour's a bit of a blur, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. I just remember cheese toasties and burgers. <sighs> cheese toasties. Such a good finish of that when they yeah. bring that bring those toasties. I know, out. I don't know why, but I literally turned to you and went, Oh, I really hope they bring out some cheese toasties. And then we looked to the right and people were eating cheese toasties. It was like I manifested it. Gosh, my hair my hair is that obviously how much I back combed it last night. It's a little bit mad now. It just feels 
so dry. I need to put a crazy amount of masking on it. Anyway, we had such a fantastic time. It was mm. such a lovely... It felt a little bit more intimate as party than previous ones. It wasn't as big. It was really lovely. Um, and we got speaking to so many Interesting people. people, yeah. Super interesting well, people. Who, Lord Chancellor... Lord... High, that was so random. Lord High Chancellor Alex Chalk. Yeah. Lovely guy. Such a lovely guy. Yeah. Such a lovely guy. I was at the bar, wasn't I? And I literally turned to my right. I'm a big horror movie fan. And Naomi Harris is just like stood right next to me. Yeah. Who was obviously Money Penny. And she's Bond. so nice. But she was in 28 Days Later. Were you bitten? Were you bitten? Which is one of my favourite, I mean, British horror films, I think. It's yeah, you love there. that film. And I was like, gonna have to say hello to her. Yeah. And she's so nice. She's as really well. sweet. Super, so super nice. Sweet. But obviously, these are all Jade and Julian's friends. So, yeah, just really really lovely people the whole night like yeah. getting chatting to people it's great it's and, always was good energy really good energy there was no... that to jay though it's just like so everyone was just so lovely yeah like there was no egos no no bad energy well, you were talking with ollie as well for a while ollie lot was i such a lovely Who's ollie guy Locke? ollie from made in chelsea he's in made in chelsea well he was no idea yeah no idea who he was lovely i just got chatting guy. to him such I've never, obviously, I've, well, I've never watched Made in Chelsea, but yeah, really nice guy. Such a nice guy. Yeah, I knew he was really good friends with Jade, but I've never been introduced to him. But I've always wanted to meet him because he just seems so friendly. Mm. He's really lovely. Yeah, really nice guy. So yeah, it was just really fun. Like we we barely spent much time together because you were off chatting, I was off chatting, mm. and yeah, it was just brilliant. It was brilliant. It was so nice getting dressed up. I loved. I got so many compliments on that dress. And I was like, where is this from? I'm like, ASOS? <laughs> you know? Yeah, it was brilliant. So, yeah, we had such a good time. So we're just going to go get a little bit of breakfast now outside at 131. Mm, so drive back. And then we'll drop... Well, I'm driving back. I don't mind driving. Well, it's up to you. I don't mind driving. But we'll we're going to stop off, though, at the Hong Cooper boutique on the way back. It's literally um, on the way back, isn't it, as well? Yeah. the detour. Because I know my mum would like some Christmas presents, so I thought actually it'd be a really good time to nip in. Oh, she gets some stuff for dinner. And then we're going to go to Dalesford next door. It's technically not a Dalesford. It's the Dunkerton's farm shop, and it has... Try and get that cider, the um, mulled cider. Absolutely, get the mulled cider. Dun- that was Dunkerton's oh, mulled delicious. cider. Yeah, because there was the fireworks last night, and obviously it was so cold. And they serve this mulled cider, mulled Dunkerton cider. So Julian owns Dunkerton's mm. um, cider because his name is Dunkerton. That was delicious. So we'll get some of that. And then they have some Dalesford products inside of the Dunkerton's farm shops. So we'll just get loads of that and just treat ourselves. And and the girls are coming over tomorrow. Amelia and Susie are coming over tomorrow. So I'll get loads of bits for Looking us as well. Looking forward to seeing them. I, know. I haven't seen Amelia in. I need to give Amelia the biggest summer? hug ever. I know. I know. I know. So we'll just have. Um, We'll have some girly time tomorrow, can't we? You can join the you love girly time. <coughs> we need some girly time tomorrow, can't we? Yeah, you love the girly time. He's one of the girls, really. Right, let's go get some coffees. Seeing as we were in the area, would be rude not to. Look how beautiful it's looking. Gosh, they've really put a lot into this. This is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna quickly nip into the boutique because I want to pick up some presents. Not saying for who, but presents. We were first in, but now it's got super busy. This is my favorite coat. Honestly, if you could just feel this coat, it is the softest thing. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Look, here's my, um, here's my roll neck. A couple of these left in the store, and there's a couple of, um, a couple of jumpers over here as well. The ladies were saying as well that um, a number of people keep coming to the store asking about my suit but the suit is all sold out, I think. There might be a couple of sizes online though, you know. Maybe one or two sizes at most. It's still online, but I don't think there's any left in store. So that hot cake, what can I say? I'm rough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rough.